having so close a relationship that you're writing requirements to essentially cut off merit-based competition, I don't think is a good trend. Fortunately, it doesn't happen that often, but I have seen it happen. You know, in terms of having a relationship with a customer, I think that's a different matter. You know, if you go in and you do a feasibility assessment and you build up relationships, I think that's just a normal part of the marketing process. But I don't think that that relationship should trump someone who comes in from another company responds to an RFP who has a superior value proposition and a better track record, et cetera, et cetera, and paid attention to all your RFP requirements. And you decided you could ignore some of them because, hey, I got this relationship and that's everything. Still can mean you don't get the project. And I've well, seen that happen. <laughs> this is why we wanted to bring you on, Dave. You're bringing a different perspective.